Chinese provinces are reeling under massive floods as the water levels in the Yangtze and the Hai He River touch the danger mark. The provincial government of uh, Anhui has activated the first level flood response. The three major reservoirs in Anhui began to discharge flood waters amid heavy rainfall. The weather department has warned that the basins of two rivers will continue to experience heavy rainfall. Regions along the Huahe River are among the most vulnerable. Local governments are racing against time to carry out relief work as the rain-swollen river threatens low-lying areas. The Huahe is located midway between the Yellow River and the Yangtze River, which are the longest, the two longest rivers in China. The Ministry of Water Resources has raised the emergency response for flood control to level 1, which is the highest in the four-tier emergency response system. Soldiers have been deployed to the flood-hit regions to help build temporary embankments. China's record flooding season has raised concerns about the country's dams, most of which have not been reinforced in a long, long time. Thousands of dams built during Mao Zedong's agrarian push in the 1950s and 60s are now on the brink of collapse. Take the Yangshuo Dam, for example, which collapsed on the 7th of June after heavy rainfall. The collapse led to the inundation of settlements and agricultural fields. The dam was built in 1965 and was last reinforced some 25 years back. A spate of strong rainfall led to overflowing collapsed, led to the overflowing, followed by a collapse. Chinese media was largely mum on this whole incident. But the issue could potentially be devastating for China. There are close to 94,000 aging dams in China. All of these dams are vulnerable due to the record rains that China has been receiving. The Deputy Minister for Water Resources in China said that flood control measures in the country are fully capable of controlling any scenario. But he did concede that China's dams are at the risk of overflowing. Now, he alluded to a black swan event. That's an event that is unpredictable and beyond what is normally expected. But the question is, does forceful neglecting of decades-old dam systems constitute a natural and unpredictable event? In response, China is frantically trying to reinforce dams and build new ones. Many of China's dams were built over settlements that were sparsely populated at the time of construction. But since then, these settlements have grown into sprawling townships. So a dam collapse could result in massive losses of life and property in some cases. Questions also need to be asked about the quality of some of these dams. In terms of design and construction especially, Experts say that dams should be able to withstand catastrophes even without regular reinforcement. This possibly suggests a design flaw or hurried construction. In 1975, China witnessed its worst dam catastrophe. The Banquio Dam on the Yellow River collapsed, killing tens of thousands of people. The dam collapsed within just 23 years of its construction. Now, this is highly unusual for dams anywhere in the world. The next big worry for China is the dam at the Qing Shitan. Its riverbeds have been shored up since last month and there is speculation of a repeat of what happened in Yangshuo. Environmental experts say that China does not need more dams. Instead, it needs to extend wetlands and floodplains to absorb the flood water.
Vion correspondent Patrick Folk sent us this report from Beijing. Take a look. Yeah, well, it's kind of inevitable because there are thousands of these aging dams that you talk about right across the country. As you say, many of them built in the 1950s and 60s when China was predominantly an agrarian society. And these dams were built to fend off drought. But it seems as though a lot of them aren't going to stand the test of time or indeed extreme weather conditions that we're experiencing right now. That dam that you talked about in Guangxi province, a Reuters report is saying that it was around 100 meters long. They went to visit it last month and it had completely disappeared. Eyewitnesses said the flooding was something that they'd never seen before. Just to give you an idea of what sort of flooding we're talking about, this dam was designed to carry enough water to fill more than 70 full-size swimming pools. So you can imagine the rush of water and flooding that it caused to the village uh, nearby, which was apparently completely uh, inundated. This is a big concern for authorities in China. As you say, there's a potential for a black swan event, something that China really doesn't need right now after everything that's been through with the coronavirus pandemic. But there are, as far as reports tell us, as many as 94,000 of these uh, aging dams. There are concerns about the techniques uh, used to build them. Of course, uh, they were built decades ago. Some of them have been reinforced since. But, you know, this dam in Guangxi, for instance, was built with compacted earth. So you can understand why, you know, some of the techniques used to build these facilities and, and dams and so on and so forth uh, may just not be good enough. And given the scale, the amount of dams that we're talking about, even though authorities are reinforcing uh, as much as they can right now, you question how much they're going to be able to do, given the extreme situation, the extreme weather conditions that China is suffering right now. Now, floods are not new to China. Out of the 10 largest floods in the last century, seven were in China. The birth of the Three Gorges Dam led to the flooding of 13 cities and 140 towns and 1,352 villages. A total of 1.3 million people were in fact displaced for the construction of this dam. And now, if it breaks, it would take even more lives. Our next report tells you all you need to know about China's Dam of Doom. More than 80,000 and counting. That is the number of dams China has built. But none of them compare to this one. The Three Gorges Dam. China shows it off as an engineering feat. What it hides, however, is that the dam is the root of many problems for China. The dam has been controversial from the word go. It was pitched as the solution for the yearly flooding of the Yangtze River. But right from the time its construction began, the Three Gorges Dam has been taking lives. The project came with a hefty price tag. And the people of China have been paying for it with their money and their lives. The construction began in 1993. The Three Gorges took 17 years to build. China has admitted that more than 100 workers died during the construction. On paper, the cost of the project was around $24 billion. But critics say the actual cost was far more. The money, of course, came out of the taxpayer's kitty. There were protests against the dam. China paid no heed to them. According to the Human Rights Watch, China used the police to contain the social unrest. Critics were denied platforms to voice their opposition. More than one million people were allegedly forced to resettle. In 2007, Fu Shikyong, a Chinese citizen, found herself swamped. Water began rising around her farm. The dam reservoir began filling. She was given no land as compensation, nor did she have any money to relocate. Now, here where we're located, it is extremely hard to survive. We are not able to leave after the big migration. 
They didn't give us land. We didn't get any of the money from the government. The Communist Party had its way with the dam, but it regretted its decision later. In 2011, Beijing issued a rare admission. The Three Gorges Dam had caused a slew of urgent environmental, geological and economic problems. According to a report, damming up too much water increased the frequency of earthquakes. High demand for water led to droughts. There was widespread contamination of Yangtze tributaries and lakes. Copper, zinc, lead and ammonium was found in samples of water. When it was pitched first, the Three Gorges Dam was deemed necessary to power China's industrial boom. But since the day the project began, it has taken hundreds of lives and caused irreparable damage to nature. Today, the floodwaters are testing the Three Gorges again. There are fears that it might collapse. If it does, the dam will trigger yet another catastrophe. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.